this screencast, I will demonstrate how to make a simple abstract wallpaper emphasizing gradients in Inkscape version 0.45. Let's begin. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do um, is go to File, Document Properties, and I'm going to set up my document for 1024 by 768. Okay, obviously what you'll want to do here is set this up for your desktop resolution. And I'm also going to change the background to a gray since we're going to be working with white gradients. Okay. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is draw my background. And I'll make this 1024 by 768. And I'll put that in the center of the page. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And we'll pull back in. Okay. I think I'll go with a blue here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our Bezier tool to make everything that we need. So I'll come up here and I'm just going to make some nice corners here. There we go. I think that looks probably pretty good. And we're going to take that and we're going to color it white. And I'm going to make sure that the stroke is turned on. Make sure that the stroke is white. Make sure that our fill is white. And I'm going to give this about a 3 for a stroke. Okay. Now what I want I'm going to do here is duplicate my background. While it's selected, I'm going to hold my shift key down, select this new shape, and we're going to do an intersection. Okay, That gives us this little shape right here. We're going to pop back into our fill and stroke dialog. And I think what I'm going to do here is give this a radial gradient. And I'm going to adjust that gradient a little bit. that'll work. Pull it up just a little bit right there. Okay. And I'm also going to give the stroke a radial gradient as well. That gives us kind of a, a flare, a highlight right here. Okay. Next what we'll do is we'll give this, we'll change its opacity just a little bit. That probably looks pretty good and I'm gonna give it just a slight blur I'm not gonna go any more than 0.5 okay I think that looks pretty good right there okay that's our first shape our next shape let me close this and we'll grab our bezier tool again draw a shape like that. Okay, and all we're going to do is repeat our last process. Color this white. We'll make our stroke white. And we'll give it a 3 for the stroke. There we go. I'm going to take our background, duplicate it. We'll pick our shape and we'll do an intersection. Okay, and we're just going to repeat the process here. We'll give this a radial gradient and we'll adjust our gradient. OK. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. And for this particular one, I think we'll tone down the color just a little bit right there. And for the stroke, we'll do the same thing. Change the stroke just a little bit so we get the highlight right in here. I want to just adjust that. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And we're going to give it a 0.5 for a blur. And we're going to change its transparency. Okay, it's starting to take shape now. Okay, now we're going to go on this corner. We'll do something about like this. This is a pretty easy project to uh, do. It's not real difficult. It's mostly just about drawing these shapes and, and you know, kind of how you want to configure them. Okay, now we're going to change this white stroke. We make white as well. We give this a three. And we're going to give this a radial gradient. I think what we'll do on this one, we'll give this one a linear gradient. And I'm going to adjust this just a little bit right here. We'll try something about like this. Okay. And then we'll take our... Uh, actually, before I get started too far into this, let me duplicate this. We'll take our shape again. And we'll do an intersection. There we go. Now, we'll go back into this. Take our stroke. and we'll adjust it just a little bit okay and we'll reduce its transparency about like that Yeah, that looks pretty good about right there, I guess. Again, it's just kind of what your uh what you like. Okay, the next thing that we'll do is I think I'll tie in this corner here. And let's hit backspace and start that over. Okay, I like that right there. Okay, color it white, flip on our fill and stroke dialog, make our stroke white, give it a three, and I'm going to give this one a radial gradient, and I'll give the fill a radial gradient. Okay, now I have two gradients on top of each other. What you can do is hold your shift key down and move them away. That'll break it loose. Same thing here. Once it's blue, you can hold the shift key down, break it loose. Okay. Let's see how we're going to do this here. Let's, let's go. We'll go out this way just a little bit. That's probably pretty good. And I'm going to take our stroke and just highlight it about right in there. Okay. Now. 
we're going to take our background and duplicate it take our shape and we're going to do an intersection okay and we're going to reduce its transparency okay and I think that's looking pretty good so far and let's do one more uh, for this one what I'm going to do is just kind of draw an ellipse and we'll just change its shape just a little bit here pull that out okay now I'm gonna take our background we'll duplicate it hold our shift key down select our shape and we'll do an intersection okay the stroke is white fill is white Make sure we got a stroke of three for the pixels. Okay, I'll do this, and for the fill, we're going to do a linear gradient. Okay, I'm going to reduce its transparency quite a bit here. So it just fades in. Okay, now I know it's not the greatest looking wallpaper in the world, but just with uh, drawing these Bezier paths and uh, closing the shape, you can get all kinds of things in here. And that's basically how you do it. Um, another thing that you can do too, once you have it drawn, if you want to change the shape, all you got to do is, uh, whoops, click your node tool. And you can kind of pull these just a little bit, pull them away, and kind of adjust the shape a little bit. And that's basically how you draw like an abstract wallpaper. And with a little luck and a little time, uh, maybe you can get that to look like an OSX uh, wallpaper. So, thank you for watching. I'm HeathenX.